All right, what's up everyone? This is a 2005 Predator Polaris, uh, the 500cc. Uh, as of now, my uncle brought it for me just to do the oil change. Now this bike is getting excessive oil in the ur, the ur thing. Um, so I, you know, he told me a little bit of history. He did an oil change in Mexico and I think they put car oil or some really cheap oil because it's literally like watery. Um, so how to change the oil on these bikes is well, the oil filter to begin with is take off these three bolts. I already loosened them for video purposes. It's so just like that. Take that filter off just like so. Okay, so I went ahead and put the new filter in. This is the old filter. That's how it looks when it's used. Um, to go ahead and put the filter in, it's like this. So this little rebushing goes actually outwards towards the outside, and it goes in like that. And then to dump the oil out, it's the reservoir, which is up here, and the engine, which is right on in that little hole right there. Let's go ahead and do that now. So this is how the bolt looks like. It's a size 14. 14 fits it perfectly. I think it's gonna be the same for the reservoir, but as you can tell, maybe you can. As you can tell, there it is draining out. Um, it's right where that hose at in the the guard underneath the skid plate. So right, that hole in the skid plate is the oil drain. Size 14, remember that guys. So once that drains out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the reservoir. Do not forget to do the reservoir. And then we'll go ahead and add the new oil. We should be good. So like I said, don't forget about the reservoir. It's actually right there leaking down right now as we speak. Should be completely empty in a couple seconds. I emptied out the, the engine oil and the reservoir oil. Once you do both, you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it up soon. Once I put the bolt back on, fill it up for me here. Put one, this is, this is all the, the oil I'm gonna be running. Put one of these in. So you're gonna put 10W50. What's up everyone? So now I have the two bolts tight. So the engine and the oil reservoir. Change the filter. Tying that as well. I'm now gonna move over to where you add oil. So like I said, I'm gonna be running mold 2, 10W50. Open up the lid. Put that aside for right now. Let's go ahead and start. These are running about 1282 a bottle. I run mold two on my two strokes. I run maximum on my four strokes. But these bikes take uh, 10W50 and you don't they didn't have maxima. And this is the next best thing. Well depending on the bike. For this bike, this is the best thing. For example, my bench, you know, on a four, four stroke like the Honda, I'm gonna put maxima in it. 10W40. Since this thing is so expensive. I'm going to try to leave it here for a couple of seconds. There you go. So I know it's 100% empty. Because it is pretty pricey. So there, that's empty. So that's one. Okay. So I put one in. It should be pretty full. It is. And then this is my trick. Well, this is the bet. This is how you should be doing your oil changes on a, on a So you turn it on. So now let me show you. It's like you want to turn it on, but don't turn it on. When you accidentally turn it on, turn it right off. So you look at my thumb. Just give me a couple seconds. After I'm done doing that for about that many times, 
I'm gonna go open it and then put the other the other the other can in. So here is bottle number two. Open that up. Start dumping it as well. This should take two and a half, about two and a half, since I did a oil change. I mean a filter change and everything. But I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try to put this whole bottle in. If not, I have to pump some more into the engine. Um, the, the dipstick. Since this bike does have overflow into the air box, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little less, um, maybe about halfway the dipstick. And then I'm gonna tell my uncle to ride it for an hour, two hours, see how it's going. If there's no more bypass into the air box, I'm gonna tell them to top it off. I'm gonna give them the, the, the can anyways. In case it's ever running low. This oil is good oil. You can run it, I would say, uh, three or four rides and then do your oil changes compared to other oils which I would recommend doing it every two rides uh, that's what I recommend that's how I do it on my bikes everyone's different so let's go ahead and turn it on now turn the gas on turn it on Run it like this for a couple of seconds. Turned off, still cold. It's good to let it run like this for a couple of seconds. Uh, I'm gonna check the dipstick again in a little bit. So once it's warmed up, it has a really nice idle. Right now it's still cold. I'll let it warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the overflow that's in the air box. So I actually took it off. I don't know what I was thinking was going to happen right there. That was dumb of me. Had a mess. Alright guys, there you guys have it. That's how you do an oil change on a 2005 Predator Polaris 500cc. I'm gonna go take it around the block and see if it's still spitting out oil. I shouldn't anymore. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a test drive. So there it is. Uh, fingers are still in oil. So there it is, Predator 500. Um, yeah, like I said, it was just spilling out a bunch of oil over here, but it looks like it's not going to be doing that anymore. But I won't know until I take it around the block. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be doing an oil change on a Polaris Phoenix as well, uh, Honda 400DX as well. It's a bunch of content coming through, guys. Uh, like I said, some people ask me to do this type of content, uh, so I will. I will be doing this. Hopefully, it helps one. If it helps one person, uh, I did my job. Take care, guys. Have a good day.